Hi everyone, happy Easter. How are you today? It's Sunday and it is time for another story time video. This is exciting, right? Um, we are, I don't know how many days into this. We're almost a full week in, a little over a full week in, and uh, it has been fun to do these videos for you and with you. Yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I wore yesterday. After the video, I changed so it doesn't count as fully wearing it for the day. Plus, um, I wanted to keep, you know, sweatpants on, so I needed to make sure I was quarantine approved, but also in springtime colors for Easter because I took a break really quick from cooking. I've got a turkey I gotta put in the oven. I just made a carrot salad. We're very busy today, so we're gonna keep this moving along quickly. Today, we're actually reading three books. We're gonna be reading The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. We're also going to be reading The Tale of Tom Kitten. And to top it all off, we have The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Of course, very appropriate for today. So let's get started. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're on Facebook, like the video and also like this page. And let's get started. I thought today we would start off with The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. And it's fun. It's a pop-up book. Ooh. Jemima Puddle Duck was upset because the farmer's wife would not let her hatch her own eggs. I want to hatch them myself, quacked Jemima. She decided to make a nest away from the farm. Jemima flew over the woods until she found a safe, quiet place. She came upon a whiskered gentleman with a bushy tail who politely asked her if she was lost. Jemima told her story and the gentleman offered to let her use his shed. It's perfect for your nest, he said. Uh-oh. Foxes and stories are never good. Oh, no. Jemima laid nine eggs in the shed. The foxy gentleman said, let us have a dinner party to celebrate and sent Jemima to the farm to gather special herbs. Jemima gathered the herbs for the gentleman. She did not realize that those were the herbs used for stuffing roast duck. Jemima's friend, Kep, the collie, asked what she was doing. She told him the whole story. When Jemima returned to the shed, someone locked her in. Soon, she heard barks and growls outside. Kep and his two puppy friends had come to the rescue. The foxy gentleman was never seen again. Now Jemima was safe, so Kep opened the shed door. The puppies rushed in and gobbled up her eggs. A tearful Jemima returned to the farm, but the following June, she laid more eggs and hatched four ducklings. The end. Now, let's move on to the tale of Tom Kitten. Once there were three kittens, Mittens, Tom Kitten, and Moppet. One day, their mother, Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit, was expecting company. She scrubbed the kittens' faces, brushed their fur, and dressed them in their best clothes. She then sent the kittens outside, saying, Keep your clothes clean, but Mittens and Moppet got their pinafores all dirty, and Tom lost his button. When they climbed the garden wall, their clothes fell off completely. Just then, three puddle ducks marched by. They picked up the kitten's clothes and put them on. How the kittens laughed to see the ducks dressed in their clothes. But when Mrs. Twitchit found her kittens without their clothes, she was very angry. She sent them upstairs and told her guests that the kittens were sick. In their rooms, Mitten, Tom Kitten, and Moppet played and chased each other. The guests downstairs wondered how sick kittens could make so much noise. As for the puddle ducks, they went swimming in a pond, but their new clothes came off because there were no buttons, and the puddle ducks have been looking for them ever since. The end. And now let's read the tale of Peter Rabbit. Mrs. Rabbit lived under a big tree with her four children, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. I'm going out, said Mrs. Rabbit one morning. You may play in the fields, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail were good little rabbits and went down the lane to gather blackberries. 
But Peter, who was very naughty, went straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter ate some lettuce, beans, and radishes. He was feeling rather sick when whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor. Peter ran away as fast as he could, losing his clothes as he went. Mr. McGregor chased him, yelling, Stop, thief! Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can full of water. Mr. McGregor probably would not have found him, but suddenly Peter sneezed. Kerchoo! And Mr. McGregor was after him again. Peter dashed out of the garden, but didn't stop running until he got home. Mr. McGregor made a scarecrow from Peter's little jacket and shoes to frighten the blackbirds. Peter was not feeling well when he got home. His mother wondered what happened to his clothes. She put him to bed and gave him some chamomile tea, but Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. The end. I hope you enjoyed these classic tales here from Beatrix Potter. A happy Easter, happy Passover. I will see you back here tomorrow at four. I think tomorrow we are going to be reading the Bernstein Bears, I think. I'm not sure. The schedule is down below. You think I would remember, but the Bernstein Bears, uh, that's so rude. Also this week coming up, we've got Frozen 2, Elsa's Epic Journey, also a Black Widow book from Marvel and lots others. You can find the schedule down below. Subscribe if you're on YouTube, like this video, hit that notification bell and like the page and like this video and share it if you're on Facebook. And I'll see you back here tomorrow at four and tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'll be posting a makeup video as well. Lots going on here and I hope you have a great week. Stay happy and healthy and don't go stir crazy during quarantine.